Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're out on the runway today with Val taking the controls of a LX4. Dude, I can't even remember. But we've got another one of those contracts for uh, hold of speed and hold an altitude. Uh, while we're letting this cruise down the runway and gather some speed, I'll make sure to not pay attention so we hit a light or something. Yeah, here it is. Uh, hold between 645 and 845 meters per second at an altitude of between 12350 and 14350 for three minutes. Uh, if you've watched this channel at all before, you know I particularly dislike these contracts, but they uh, building aircraft is a lot of fun for me. So, all right. We're just going to go ahead and try to get this guy out to range and up to altitude. Um, we can probably come back on that throttle just a bit. I don't think we need full burners. They do consume a lot more fuel. But here's a nice little look at the aircraft itself. It's sin ugly. And because of the way all the uh, wing surfaces are, I'm going to get a lot of this, uh, I guess it's Z-fighting. Z uh, it's using eight XLR-11 engines, because we still don't have the XLR-99, and I can't uh, engineer a better platform. So this is what we're using. It's uh, pretty much the same methodology. We ditch the pigeon when we're at range and altitude, and then uh, go off the thrust of these engines until we're happy with where we're at. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to warp on out to range and altitude, and I will pick you guys up again when we are starting to make our run. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start our turn in here before our engines run out of fuel. and hopefully not shed too much altitude in the process. Ooh, buddy. All right. So the good news is, is we're actually starting up pretty high. We can afford to bleed off about a thousand meters altitude, which maybe we'll do just in the process of making this turn. Um, uh, yeah, we're really not anywhere near far enough away to do this in a single pass. There's definitely going to be a turnaround uh, on the glide back <laughs> after the run is complete. Oh man, and these engines are actually about to cut out. Peg the throttle, there they go, and we're off. All right, um, do, 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 do. let me just bring up this here so I can keep an eye on the timer once our run actually starts in earnest, but getting the speed up to 645 is the goal. Um, altitude below 14, so if we can keep it right at 13 kilometers or so, that would be perfect. There it is. All right, now just the speed. Oh, man. Come on, come on. All right, counter started. We can ease back on this throttle a bunch. We're gonna need to to save fuel. On the clock. Easy does it, Val. God, worst fucking three minutes of my entire life. Balance very gently on this very tiny window of both speed and altitude.
All right, let's see if we can't just hold it in right around 700. Gives us a little bit of playroom. Top and bottom. If we could only get our altitude to just level out and stay still, that would be great. Two minutes to go. Whoa, what's up with this reduced roll we're getting? Oh man, not a whole lot of fuel left. If we can come back on that throttle just a bit more. Minute 33 to go. Shit. Oh, are we going to have enough fuel to do this? You can do it. One minute. Come back on that throttle just a bit more. Now burning each engine on only one chamber. Meaning, I guess, with uh, equal weighted aircraft, we could have done it with four engines at full throttle. Not a lot of wiggle room on this speed anymore. Just have to hope it holds out another 40 seconds. Just 40 seconds, Val, you can do it. Twenty-five seconds. Oh god, I wonder how much fuel we have left. Is that gonna be 25 seconds of fuel? <laughs> Maybe we should go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more of a buffer on speed. If we can hold altitude when we run out of time, maybe the speed bleed off won't be so bad. Oh no. Three seconds. Oh, we totally got this. One second. Boom! Yes! And we just ran out of fuel. <laughs> Whoo, buddy! Alright. Whoa. What just exploded? I think we lost a spoiler. That's not good. Yeah, we totally air stressed off one of those spoilers. Oh, those were supposed to be for landing. I'm so stupid. Alright, how much gliding do we have to do to get home? Lots. Lots of gliding. We have to land or splash down at Earth. Um, hopefully won't be an issue, except uh, I forgot to set the front parachutes to not auto cut when you touch the ground so if it lands on its tail like it normally does it will probably explode the cockpit so we're really gonna push hard for this runway landing thing I think we can do it but you know I guess we'll see. <laughs> I was just going to dial in a glide here and cross her fingers. We haven't had to land on dirt yet, but this uh, this may be the time. I mean, this thing glides like a pro. I'm not very disappointed with this. We're actually not even losing all that much speed. Which means I'm probably coming in way too high and way too fast. And we can't use our homebrew air brakes anymore because I broke one of them off. That was, in fact, brilliant, wasn't it? All right. So, really, we need to come in long and low. That looks like a good approach.
dubious application of time warp. This thing does not bleed off speed like I really thought it would. I mean, Jesus. That is really, really sea level fast for a glider. I guess it just doesn't weigh so much when nothing's in it. Why you have the gear out already, I'll never understand, Val. Yeah, we're probably going to need another one of those S-turns to get this speed down enough. <sighs> Careful, Val. Nine. That's an acceptable figure. We'd like our touchdown speed to be below 100 meters per second. Well, so far, approach is pretty good. No clue what our stall speed is, but it's lower than 96. Oh man. Whoo! I did not know turning on the brakes would activate only one spoiler. <laughs> now we're off the runway valve. Please be careful. Oh god, airborne! <laughs> well, this is not working very well at all. We are not slowing down hardly at all. Oh, we have frictionless wheels. Apparently we're still near. Ooh, now we're not. Well, that was uh, an interesting landing. Very touch and go-y. But contract complete. Way to go, Val. You, uh, you're a rock star. Uh, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for hanging out for uh, another one of these classic speed runs in a particularly ugly aircraft. Um, anyway, uh, thanks. I'll see you guys next time.